Hi, this is Sherry Overstreet. I wanted to talk a little bit more about thoughts and our thoughts. Oh man, sometimes those thoughts can be evil. And I want to talk a little bit about, you know, I, I, I don't know where I heard this, honestly. Somebody said you should just let go of your thoughts. And I would disagree. I don't think that it's a matter of letting go of the thought. I think that I would say love and honor the thought. And what I mean by that is even if it's a bad thought, love and honor that because it's there. And it doesn't, and, and just because you have a thought doesn't make it true. What ends up happening for us is we start attaching to our thoughts. So if I have a thought I'm ugly, for example, I could just let love and honor that the thought's there, or I could go into all the reasons why I think I'm ugly. So I could be, I'm ugly, and then it will lead to, well, this is why you're ugly, or, and then I might, I might question the thinking and be like, well, why am I thinking that? And then my brain or my subconscious mind is going to answer the thought. It's going to be like, well, you're ugly because here's all the reasons. A through Z is why you're ugly. And it all comes down to that belief that we have about ourselves. So if the belief is I'm not beautiful or I'm not, I'm not valuable or something, then I'm going to start creating, you know, I'm going to have all of these thoughts created in my mind. And I just want to reassure you that just because you have the thought doesn't mean it's true and you don't have to believe it. And I do believe that the more you resist the thinking, the more it has more power, the more it's going to keep being there. Like if I'm like, I'm ugly and why am I ugly? And why someone said I was ugly and none of the person said I was ugly and everybody thinks I'm ugly. And so now I'm just wrapped up in this whole attachment to the thinking and I'm believing that it's true. I'm believing that it's true. And so I want you to just think about, don't think too hard about how the thoughts can come in there. And that doesn't mean they're true. It does not make them true. And so love and honor the thinking, just love and honor it. It has less power. It has a lot less power when you love and honor it. Just let it be there and let it float, float by like a cloud. It's like, Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it goes again. Thank you so much for checking out this video. And if, if you have any questions about that, it might sound, hopefully it doesn't sound too confusing. Um, if you have any questions about that, please feel free to comment or ask the question in the video and I'll be happy to answer it. Thank you so much.